What's up everybody? It's Vilma. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be one of my favorite videos to do here on my channel, although I haven't done one in such a long time. It's a comparison video between a higher end brand and a drugstore. And the two brands that I have to talk about are Neutrogena and Clinique. Now this one from Clinique is the Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief and the one from Neutrogena which I've mentioned so many times on my channel is called the Hydro Boost Water Gel. Now I've been trying these products now well I've been using this now for nearly a year and this one I've recently got it on my holiday when I went uh, to Portugal I got this at the airport and I've been using it ever since so I've been using it now for about five weeks now I find these two products very very similar because they're supposed to hydrate your skin and also give you that uh, boost to make your skin look a little bit more plump obviously because this one is high-end is going to cost a lot more this one although is a little bit expensive for drugstore I do feel that it's well worth the money I'm gonna start with the drugstore option which is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. This retails for £12.99. It comes in a 50 ml container which is made of plastic. It comes in two formulas. They also have a cream formula which I would say is mostly geared towards normal to dry skin whereas this one is I would say it's for any skin type but if you have combination to oily skin you can still use this. Now the product itself is blue and it has the most amazing and yummy scent. I absolutely love it. I've done an entire review on this line and I'll link that in the info bar below for you guys. Now I'm going to read a little bit of the description that they have on the Boots website which says um, a refreshing water gel moisturizer that contains a unique hyaluronic gel matrix to instantly lock in intense hydration and continuously do that throughout the day. It's oil free, it's suitable for um, sensitive skins so that's absolutely amazing and it will give you that boost of hydration that you need for the entire day now i've been using this now for nearly a year i think this is my second or third tub and i absolutely love it because it definitely hydrates my skin i have combination to oily skin i'm 40 years old i have fine lines i have humongous pores and i get a breakout here and there but this product has never irritated my skin um, it definitely gives me that boost that I require throughout the day. It makes my skin look nice and it preps my skin really nicely for my application of makeup. Now I do wear this on its own. I can wear it in the morning prior to applying, applying my makeup or in the evening as my night cream because I think it's that moisturizing. I do feel that throughout the day this has definitely locked in moisture because my skin doesn't feel tight. It doesn't produce that much oil, although I still have combination to oily skin, so I'm gonna produce a little bit of oil throughout the day. It doesn't really produce all that much because my skin doesn't feel thirsty. It has an amazing texture, which is gel-like. It blends in beautifully, and it leaves no greasy residue on the skin, which is something that I absolutely love. Moving on to the higher end option, which is by Clinique. This is called the Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief. It comes in a 75 ml tub right here, and this was part of a set. I paid 37 pounds at the airport, but I've noticed online they only have a 50 ml tub, which costs 34. So I don't know if it comes in two different sizes or I just got this a little bit bigger because I bought it at the airport, so I'm not entirely sure. Now I'm going to read the description of this product on the um, Clinique website. It says that it's a light, comfortable cream gel that plumps the skin with hydration for a full 24 hours. Fine lines, flakiness, and tightness are washed away. In their place, a sense of supple, firm, vibrant well-being even though even through shifts or shifts in humidity better saying one drink and skin looks and feels happier and healthier now it comes in a plastic tub as well it feels a little bit more luxurious than the Neutrogena by no means I'm saying that this doesn't look luxurious because it does but this one just looks a little bit more in my opinion the texture the letters over here feel a little bit texturized so you can actually feel them 
when you open the product is pink i hope my camera is picking up and it doesn't really have any perfume scents or anything like that but it does have a scent but i can't really put my finger on it i'm not entirely sure what type of scent it actually is now the texture of this product again is a gel type of product is very very easy to blend in but i find that this one is a lot more hydrating than the neutrogena to the point that i feel if you apply too much and you have combination to oily skin your skin will feel greasy so my recommendation is applying this product prior to your makeup maybe half an hour before allow this product to really really sink into your skin or else it will probably make your foundation move around a little bit or you'll become a little bit oilier quicker throughout the day i also have the tendency of using this at night especially those days that i wore a little bit of a more heavier makeup and I want my skin to feel a little bit more hydrated and plump in the morning or I'm feeling extremely tired I feel like you can definitely use this at night and I definitely tend to use that now when I apply it at night again I don't apply a thick layer I apply just a little dot when I say a little dot a little blob that I take and I just spread it evenly throughout my skin and again I am wearing it today underneath my foundation my foundation is very very matte and I wanted to properly prep my skin for application of makeup but this one works just as well but this one is just a little bit more hydrated now the difference between these two is not that big definitely the price point is a huge a huge difference this one costs a fraction of the price it carries less product than the one that i have right here but like i said before i'm not entirely sure if they actually sell the 75 ml tub outside of promotions or from the airport i'm not entirely sure but from what i can see online there is only a 50 ml little tub that costs 34 pounds now i love both of them i would continue to buy them if you are on a budget and you need something that hydrates your skin then i would definitely recommend this one if your skin is really lacking moisture and it's not locking by the products that you're using i would definitely recommend this one as well and because i only need to use a tiny little bit i feel like this tub will last for ages so definitely the price is definitely worth it this one i also don't apply all that much but i feel i can be a little bit more generous than this one because it's so moisturizing so hydrating that i don't feel like i need to apply too much so that is my comparison between these two products i absolutely love i think they're gorgeous they do the exact same thing on my skin although with this one i only need a tiny little bit so a little goes a long way price point this one is so affordable so if you prefer to go drugstore or you're on a budget i would highly recommend this one if you prefer high end then definitely definitely try this one and again both of them come in two different formulas so if you have normal to dry and very dry skin you will find a formula that is suitable for you if you are combination to oily skin both of them work i bought the lighter versions but as mentioned before make sure that you apply these products maybe half an hour before you apply your makeup so that your foundation doesn't slide around so those are my thoughts i do hope that you guys found this video helpful if you did please give it a good thumbs up make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you on my next video bye